you are looking at the brand new AOC'd X Maker Joy. I was all but skeptical when AOC'd reached out about this machine. And I've seen entry level 3D printers marketed towards children before with some not so good. But this one has some very unique features that were intriguing enough that I wanted to take a closer look. Now, is this machine different than some of the other not so good machines? Well, stick with me through to the end and we'll go over all of it and I'll give you my recommendation. You've heard me say this before and you'll hear me say it again probably, but 3D printing is no longer a hobby limited uh, to us nerds and geeks. Yay! And in the last couple of years, we've seen a major shift in the industry to more complete end-to-end -end user experiences with 3D printers, ultimately making this technology more widely available to a broader audience. Enclosed appliance looking 3D printers are quite common in arriving on the doorsteps of homes all around the world at a scale that we've not yet seen before. But for most of these printers, the user experience isn't changing, which is really sad because in order to get 3D printing out of the basement and into the mainstream, this complex technology needs some serious attention to how it looks and feels when it's used by the average everyday user. Most 3D printers are aimed at adults, and most are usable by children probably 10 years of age or older, under adult supervision of course. Not many are aimed at non-technical types or even children. Now humor me just for a moment. Let's transport back to our youth, let's say five or six years old, and let's make it a birthday or Christmas morning. Imagine at that age, if you had a toy with unlimited ability, even to surpass your own creative imagination at that age, a toy that could quite literally make any other toy that you wanted. I'm 46 years old and I can still feel the magic of Christmas mornings awaking to find my Digger Dan construction set or my Constructs tank kit. Even after nearly 40 years, I can only dream of what it would have been like to experience reprinting at that age. Honestly, how do you think that would have affected your life? Learning to design and create physical objects that manifest themselves right in front of your eyes. I'd love to read your stories in the comments below on just how much you think a 3D printer at that young of an age would have impacted your future. Do it, take the time, I'd love to read them. This is exactly why I'm so excited to see a machine like this. And I was hoping so much for this to be a 3D printer that lived up to what I really wanted it to be, if that makes sense. I was so nervous that reading the marketing literature, um, it seemed too good to be true. AOC ideally wants to get the message across that this 3D printer is not just for printing toys, but creating toys. Now stick around, and I'll go over that, kind of exactly what that means. Now, I'm a realist, and I can easily set aside the nerd and geek in me for a few moments and roll the clock back on my family to when my children were much younger. To look at this 3D printer from the perspective of a father who wants to uh, inspire children to create and build. And I really think it's important to look at it this way. This is a 3D printer that is designed to be simple to operate, no special skills or knowledge needed, and to be a creative journey for young families. I won't go through the unboxing and setup experience here. I think AOC did a fantastic job of that in the recent videos, and I'll link to those in the description of the video. Just know that you'll be printing within just a couple of minutes from opening the box. Um, it's one of the fastest unboxed to print 3D printers that I've ever seen. This is the Easy Bake Oven of the 3D printing world. In fact, our family has an Easy Bake Oven. My wife and daughter had countless hours of fun and loving mother-daughter time spent together with that very simple, imagination-inspiring oven. And I'll argue that it probably wouldn't have been the same with a regular oven or a toaster oven. Now let's get some B-roll of this machine spinning around. It is tiny, and if the aesthetic they were aiming for was simplicity, I think they nailed it. This machine is definitely attractive, it's not intimidating at all, and it's just really fun looking. Now first, let's talk about the size. This is one small machine, weighing just a few pounds and measuring less than a cubic foot. I think it's like 12 by 10 and a half by 10 and a half. 3D printers are often measured in two primary ways, the build volume and speed. Build volume referring to the maximum size of the printing area, basically what's the largest item that you can print, and speed being, of course, how fast it can print. This machine has a build size of 4.7 inches in each of the X, Y, and Z directions. An easy way to remember that is that X is across the printer, Y is from front to back, and Z is the height of the build space. Now, that might seem very small, but again, this is a printer that is designed to inspire creativity, and should this be the hobby that becomes a passion, another printer is likely just around the corner. You can always have more than one. 
As for speed, this is commonly measured in millimeters per second, and although AOC advertises speeds up to 300 millimeters per second, which is kind of quick, uh, most of your printing will take place between 100 and 200 millimeters per second, which is plenty fast and safe for this application. As for the maximum temperature, well, for this application where a 3D printer and the user experience are designed for simplicity, it really doesn't matter. But if you're going to be shopping for 3D printing filament, you'll be looking only at uh, 1.75 millimeter PLA or modified PLAs like PLA Plus, HT PLAs, HD PLAs, PLA Pros, Hyper PLAs, etc. Um, it has a maximum temperature of 260C, where most PLAs that you'll be encountering will be printing around 210 to 220, but don't worry about that too much because all of the models inside the XMaker app will take care of those temps for you. Because user experience is so important when it comes to this type of machine, let's take a look at the XMaker app. It is available on both iOS and Android phones and tablets, and also there's a Windows PC app. The app is super simple to use, but extremely powerful. You can do all of the expected operations like loading and unloading filament in order to change the filament that you will be printing with, as well as adjusting the Z offset, which is basically the nozzle distance uh, between the build plate and the nozzle. You shouldn't have to worry about this at all as the printer is configured by default and it does auto leveling for you. One of the most attractive features for me when it comes to this app was the printing experience. It is so simple to browse models, select them, slice them, and print wirelessly. If you're not sure what I mean by slicing, let me explain very quickly that slicing is the act of the computer preparing the model to be 3D printed. It basically slices the model into layers with instructions on how the printer should print each layer. Slicing is done locally on your mobile device um, or of course on the uh, PC and then transmitted to your printer over your wireless network. Nothing goes to a cloud. When looking at a model that's more complicated than a single print, I really like that you can see all of the parts that will need to be printed separated onto multiple build plates in the app interface. This is a fantastic feature for novices to see the steps required to complete a printing project. There are so many models to choose from with more and more being added each week. I actually have no idea how many, but it was a lot of fun uh, to browse through there. There was more than I could imagine. Now, one of AOC's big selling points, surprisingly, isn't even 3D printing. It's the ability for the user to design and create within their app to modify models uh, or design from scratch using voice to AI input, actually. This unleashes near limitless options for 3D printing at such a young age, long before children have the skills or resources available to learn proper design languages and tools like Fusion 360. Now, you probably already noticed that this printer is customized a little bit. What a great idea it was to make available these fun models to change the way the printer looks for you and your family. We printed the Unicorn as well as the Mario and even Pikachu, and there's so many more to choose from. Uh, there's even stickers included, um, so you can kind of like further customize it, do whatever you want. It's pretty fun. It does have a camera built in for monitoring prints from the application as well as generating and sharing time lapses. This XMaker Joy is designed to print with the door closed for safety, but as for sound, which I know can be a big issue for many families, it is very quiet. In fact, it's quiet enough that when it is printing here in the studio with me, I very much forget it's here. We even printed with it live on our Twitch channel and it's nearly silent even from just a few feet away uh, from me and my microphone. Now. You'd think at this point I am done with sharing all of the exciting features, but here's another. AOSeed includes these creation kits. These are awesome kits that include all of the electronics and even some injection molded parts that you will then complete with your 3D printing to make robots, music boxes, remote controlled cars, even other remote controlled toys. And I really think this is a fantastic way to inspire young minds, giving them projects that they can start and finish uh, to build confidence and skills along with just having fun. This machine includes a feature called power loss recovery, and that's a feature that we commonly see on regular 3D printers. It basically means if the machine loses power during a print, when the power is restored, the printer will attempt to start where it left off to prevent waste of time and material. Um, I didn't test it, and to be honest with you, it's such a small print volume that even if you did have a power failure, you're not losing much time or material. Print quality is actually quite good. I was very happily surprised to see such good quality come from such a little machine. Each print is printed on a raft, and that is basically a thin sacrificial layer of printed filament that is beneath the print, holding it down to the magnetic build plate and also giving you a consistent first layer on the bottom of the print. Removing prints is easy. Just give that magnetic build plate just a little bit of a flex and it'll pop right off that PEI. Now, here's a couple more shots of the print quality. I am super impressed. Layer lines look really good and there are minimal surface artifacts. What about maintenance? 
Important question. One of the reasons why 3D printing can be difficult to introduce at such a young age is because it is a mechanical device that has a lot of moving parts and very complex software, and something will inevitably go wrong. One of the most common problems will be a clog in the nozzle that extrudes filament. Clogged nozzles for someone more experienced is simple to deal with, but what about for this printer? Well, AOC did a great job by making the hot end a one button replacement. If there is a clog that is too difficult to clear, you can push the little red button on the side of the tool head and click change the nozzle. Now, what about the price? At the time of filming, I was seeing a 269 USD on Amazon and for the printer, and there was a $40 off coupon that you clicked right there on Amazon to get it for basically 229. They had another option, which included a selection of filament and uh, that wasn't actually such a bad deal to have a great out of the box experience if you wanted to get the machine and have some fun filaments to start with. Now, I do have one negative with the machine, all right? So because this is your interface to control the printer, this user experience has to be absolutely perfect. Now, the machine itself, I'm not gonna use the word perfect, but I'm gonna say it's pretty darn close. It was a fantastic experience, but about a half a dozen times or so while using the machine, and the XMaker app on my phone, I found that when you close the app or, or minimize the app on your phone and you reopened it, um, it would lose connectivity with the machine and it would show that the machine wasn't there. You'd have to go to add printer and then it would pop up and you'd say connect and then you'd be reconnected to it again. And that happened about a half a dozen times. Now that's not a big complaint, um, but it is something in software that they can absolutely fix. But again, because this is your interface, there's no other way to manage the printer. This experience has to be perfect. And so um, if I had any advice, um, just AOC, make sure that that's just the perfect experience. I'll have links on the screen and in the description below if you're interested, go check them out. As for my recommendation, with the prices of 3D printers getting lower and lower and features getting better and better, there are a lot of 3D printers to choose from. If you are a young family, and you want to have the simple and joyful experience of 3D printing, minus a lot of the nerdy and geeky details that might distract from the purity of just simply enjoying the hobby, then this is a great machine. If you want to dive right into the more technical side of 3D printing and already know this is a long-term hobby for you, then I recommend subscribing to my channel and watching all of the videos that you can, and uh, hopefully you'll find a printer that's uh, right for you and your family. What do you think? I am sincerely interested in your thoughts on this machine. And I really hope that I was able to inspire those of you with young families who may be interested in the 3D printing journey as well as communicate to those with more experience that if we really want 3D printing to grow and expand, we need to encourage and celebrate 3D printing for all levels of skill and interest. Thank you AOC for sending over this machine. I really enjoyed working with it. And to all of you, thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.